finally break time. What a beautiful day. Maybe I'll do a little kayaking. Huh? Hey, Dr. Romano, are you painting a picture of this beautiful garden? Isn't it a beautiful day? I'm taking some time off. Hey, Dr. Romano. How are you? Come around. I'll show you a nice picture. Ah, oh, what are you painting? Some flowers? No, I'm doing a problem on electrolysis that I like to show my DAT group. This is a real challenging problem, and I think it'll all be electrified. Wow! I have two amps, and I'm going to use it to electrolyze a metal that needed three moles of electrons for its reduction at the cathode. The reaction takes two hours, and 2.75 grams of metal was obtained. And I want to know which of these metals, cobalt, nickel, samarium, iron, or titanium, was used. And then finally, name the phosphate of this metal. We all remembered a red cat and an ox. And I happen to love cats, so this is easy for me to remember. You have a red cat and an ox. Since it's at the cathode, I'm going to write the reduction. So if it required three moles of electrons, the charge of the metal was plus three. So M plus three plus three moles of the electrons gives the metal M. Now the first thing I do in an electrolysis problem is to write the formula I equals Q, which is charge, T is time, and I, of course, is the current. In my group in New York, I call it the I quit formula. I quit. Now, one hour is 3,600 seconds, which is always nice to know. Since we have two hours, we have twice that amount, or 7,200 seconds. So I plug in, the current is two, the time is 7,200 seconds. That gives me 14,400 coulombs of charge. Now, that will give you the conversion. A mole of electrons is 96,500 coulombs. So what I've done is I use this conversion. One mole of electrons is 96,500 coulombs. And as you can see from this reaction, three moles of electrons is for one mole of M. The numbers are not so nice here. I did it with a calculator. The Dow will be much nicer. But when you divide this out, you get 0.5 moles. The molecular weight, or here, it's actually not the molecular weight, but the atomic weight. The atomic weight of the metal is the grams over the moles. The grams of metal was 2.75. The moles was 0.5. Gives me 55 grams. You look it up on the periodic table you would see iron is 55 grams. Because iron is plus three, phosphate's minus three, the formula would be FEPO4, and that would be iron three phosphate. All right, I hope this helps. Well, on let a me really get a better problem. little thing on here. Dr. Romano, um, can you paint me a picture of a flower later? No flowers. The only flowers I want you to know is what I have in the Dat Destroyer and my bio notes. Good day to you. Okay, I guess I need to know plants for the dat. Good day to you, sir.